Before you make your purchase of the air brick, you want to make sure you measure the correct size, the 4x10. Most standard HVACs will have the 4x10. So let's take it apart, pull it off, and we'll see. We got, I have a 4 by 10 perfect. Now there are other common sizes you, you might have, with like the 4 by 12 or the 6 by 10. So make sure you have a 4 by 10 because this air brick is specifically designed for the 4 by 10. All right, we have the 4 by 10 air brick, and as you can see, this is a 4 by 10, and we're measuring the square size of which the airflow will come out, not the plate. Okay, I just plug in my air brick, and I noticed I'm not feeling any fan boost from it. So don't panic. It's still working, and it's working as designed. Make sure you turn on your HVAC to test it out because you need to get the air blowing for the boost fan to start working. Now, once you've turned on your HVAC and you feel air coming in and it's still not turning on, don't worry. It's just a trigger setting. The default air brick has the two top level trigger settings, 85 and 65. Now, that just might be a little too low. So all you have to do is bump it up a little bit. And as you can see, it immediately starts working. Now you could literally just leave your air brick at this. These default settings will work perfectly now because most HVACs have a very similar temperature setting trigger. So I got my air brick running and it's gonna run when there's airflow. But let's say you just want this thing to always boost and provide airflow for you. There's a simple way to do that. Let's click the settings and get the temperature settings to match. So let's take the bottom setting and let's bring it all the way up to match your top setting. And honestly, even if it's within the same range, the, you're, it's, the thing will constantly stay on because it's just trying to find that temperature gauge. And that's it. Okay, I got my air brick running and it's giving me a nice little fan boost here. It's perfect to keep the temperature of my room. Now, this, you can see that my HVAC system is producing a temperature of 66 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's the air that's pushing out from the air brick. It's not the temperature of my room right now, it's what it's trying to get it to. And let's talk real quick about the settings too. So I understand the temperature of the air that's flowing out. And as we can see here before, we have the top level setting and the bottom level setting on when the air brick is gonna trigger the airflow. And we also have the fan speed too. You can go all the way up if you really want a good boost or if you want it nice and quiet. I like mine at a nice five, you know, it's a, it's a, good, temp it's a good setting, I don't really hear it. There's also the last setting of the dimness of the display. At night, maybe you're actually seeing that light and you want to get rid of it. So let's get rid of it. I'm going to put it to zero so I don't see it anymore. And guess what? Don't worry, it doesn't go away. The next time you press the button, it's back there. The nice little thing too about the air brake is it comes with this little remote control that has the same setting and plus and minus that you can operate it from. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy your air brake.